Well, hello, hello, hello. I'm back again. Today I've got a Wing Sung 699 to show you and tell you what I think of and ramble and ramble in such intolerable ways that you'll become bored and switch off. You know, usual. So, Wing Sung 699, this is. Um, Heavily based upon a pilot customer 823. Um, you will notice a difference straight away. The more eagle eyed of you, but I will come to that in a second. Um, so let's just take a quick tour of the pen. Um, brown slash amber colored uh, plastic resin, whatever you like. Um, cap band has. Wing Sung 699, made in China, uh, engraved on there. You have a clip with a little upturn there, which is, yeah, not bad. Not bad on the spring, not too stiff. Um, clip unit comes up to this band here. Then you have a solid uh, opaque resin brown finial. Uh, the rest of it's translucent. Then you have similar here down for the piston turning knob and injection moulding mark there. Um, sorry, Wingsung logo on the clip as well. Screw cap unscrews in one, one and a half, one and three quarters, two, two and a quarter, two and a half. Oh, two and three quarters, that's excessive. It's not stupidly excessive, but it's marginally excessive. Uh, sorry, to reveal. Uh, solid coloured resin section. Uh, number six size, two-tone steel nib with wing S and M for medium. And a plastic feed. Um, yeah, so this is the piston version. Unbeknownst to me when I ordered the thing, because I was thinking, I was thinking something's going to fall off my desk and fall behind it in a kind of rustly noise, which happened. Anyway, uh, I was thinking I wouldn't mind trying one of these on for size um, to have an impression, perhaps, of a custom eight two three, obviously nib and etc apart but for size weight etc etc um unbeknownst to me there's a piston version not a vac version and unbeknownst to me i seem to have ordered that one hey ho i'll review what's in front of me um so yeah this is the piston version not the vac version as you can see piston turning knob will not operate ink in here yeah so that that annoyed me a little bit but that was, I suppose, my fault for not reading fine print and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I thought it was a vac. Never mind, never mind. Let's judge it on its own merits, shall we? Um, does post. Thus. Uh, does make it a bit long for me. Um, not back heavy or anything like that. I mean, look, it's usable. Uh, just nudges on my web in my hand there. I just don't need that extra length. I'm not generally a poster if I can help it. Uh, sits reasonably nicely in my hands, quite light. Um, that will be for some people and not for others. I'm kind of on the not for me side of that lightness. Uh, come to that in the measurements. But um, section's comfortable, does grip well. Uh, these threads are non-intrusive and you've got just an ever so slight taper down there and then a flare back out. So it's a comfortable section um, and girth-wise not too bad, sits quite nicely in my hand. Uh, I wouldn't mind a bit of extra weight in there, which probably would have been provided by a vac rod. Just saying. Yeah, uh, yeah so nice, comfy, bit light. It's reasonably standard plastic offering, as you might expect. Uh, transparent cap, generally not my bag, especially if the nib does not line up either. 
this side with the clip or adjacent this side to the clip. Can we make it line up? No. And that bugs me. That's me. That's my brain. There you go. Measurements of the pen. Focus on measurements of the pen. Capped, uncapped and posted all in a millimetres of the approximate value. And weight is inked. So again, approximate, give it a little bit. Uh, but what I've got with some ink in it are these in grams. Barrel, 12.8. Uh, at its widest and then just tapering down before it gets to that piston knob there to 12.1 and the section is 11.5 up here with a slight taper down to 10.1 have I got that right? hang on a second no I do not do not have it right 10.6 my apologies thought that didn't seem quite right oh dear I leave it in cap for too long. You get a bit of hard startage, right? We'll come to that. Um, 10.6 millimeters before flaring back out again. Apologies for my inconsistency. Let's compare to some other pens. So next to some other pens, we have Wingsung 609, Twisby Eco for standard size comparison. So that's annoying me. Uh, Wingsung 630, which is the Mont Blanc 149, I like. Leonardo Memento Zero Grande, Diplomat Excellence, Dolce Vita by Delta Midsize. Um, Wingsung 629, which is the Mont Blanc 146, I like. Asfine V126. Opus 88, Colero, Sailor, Pro Gear, Regular, and Jinhao 82, which is equivalent to a Sailor, Pro Gear, Slim. Follow all that? Absolutely spectacular. Let's do a writing sample, man. Let's see how it writes, yeah. Let's, let's, let's stop all this looking at other pen stuff, right? And see if we can you know see how it writes sort of thing yeah because that's good that's what we want to know yeah sorry about that so here we have a wing sung i'm unsure by the way whether wing sung is two words now that i'm doing it forgive me if it's not right six Nine nine. Apologies, I do lose track of the numbers. This is a medium nib of the steel variety, and this is the piston version of the pen, not the vac version. Oh, e e. This is Robert Oster. Motor oil ink. And let's see how she writes. There she blows. So, don't know what's wrong with me in general. Not bad, decent flow, little bit of feedback, um, not scratchy, but a bit of feedback. Uh, you saw just when I was amending the measurement a minute ago, if you've got it uncapped for a while, waving it about, not that long a while, but a while, you can get the odd hard start. But um, generally speaking, I find it's good flow. I don't find it skips or anything like that. But let's have a look, see if 
quicker makes a difference. Not really, uh, flows nice, keeps up well. Uh, wetness. Not too bad. Not gushing me so, but as I say, good flow. Flow's good. You've got enough ink there to write some words, know what I mean? Yeah. Line variation. I do find it's ever so slightly skinnier on your cross than your down. It's kind of a la stub, but marginal. You, you notice it more in the feel than you probably would in any actual line variation. So with no pressure, there is a tiny weeny bit there. Um, you can squeeze a teeny weeny bit, but it is a stiff nib, uh, so no pressure, and then pressure, you're really just laying a bit more ink down uh, rather than getting too much variation on it. Um, I mentioned kind of the feel. If, you, if you've if you got that lined up well, as I said, there's a bit of feedback on it, but not unpleasantly so. Um, but if you start to angle that, you can kind of feel edges, you know, still right. But to me, if, if you're one who might rotate your, your nib on your page a little bit when writing, like I can do sometimes, you can feel the edges of that. Just, I don't know, it puts me off my stroke, um, as it were. Just something to be aware of. I don't know whether it's um, uh, prevalent uh, amongst the Chinese nib industry, but I have noticed on more than one occasion, not all occasions, but more than one occasion, that medium nibs can have that ever so slight stub characteristic um, which can make it irritating if you are prone to accident or, or whatever rotation of your nib on page um, look it's not terrible it's um, smooth enough you know you get a tiny weeny bit of feedback so it's not glass but it's not scratchy either um, it's okay it's kind of like the pen it's okay. Um, it is functional. It does the job. It's unspectacular. Um, personally, I feel I would probably prefer it with a bit more weight, whether it was a vac rod or whatever, a brass piston filler. I know, you know, it's, it's cost effective. Um, these round about I suppose the 20 pound mark depending on where you go you can get higher lower but call that an average um, I just feel you can get a little bit more for around that um, look it's personal taste F for me it's a bit light um, I just I want a little bit of weight back here it just I don't know doesn't really rest so much as it kind of hangs in my grip there and just kind of you know doesn't really rest there's nothing to there's nothing substantial for me that may be for you everyone's mileage may vary slightly um but it's something to be aware of uh depending on your personal preferences i will say that section is comfortable uh the nib does write it writes well and it's just that kind of ever so slight stubby angliness which i become aware of Posts, posts well, secure, um, doesn't post like directly onto that piston. So you can post that without fearing accidentally operating piston knob when you're taking it on and off. Um, it's okay. Uh, I can't say it's one that I reach for regularly. Um, just for those reasons, it, it, it doesn't sing to me. It's not spectacular, but it is functional and it's okay. I hope this was vaguely interesting to you, and I'll see you next time.